first things first, I want to go out to the Eastern Pacific right now because our hurricane is gaining strength. We're looking at Hurricane Eric at this point, which is now strengthened into a Category 2. Remember yesterday we were talking about the storm being over some very warm sea surface temperatures, not a lot of shear out there to disrupt the inner workings of the thunderstorms themselves, and a lot of humidity, not a lot of dry air getting wrapped in. So rapid intensification was the forecast, and it's currently happening. 100 mile per hour winds. In fact, the Hurricane Hunters found a 101 mile per hour gust right there at the surface when it was through the eye wall. And you can see the pressure going down and the winds coming on up. So, right now, it's a Category 2 storm right off the shore from Mexico. Where does it go from here? How strong does it get? Some indications go about a Category 3, maybe a stronger Category 3 by the time it makes a landfall. And that's going to be sometime tomorrow. So we don't have a lot of time with this. It's going to be over the water for about 24 to 36 hours. And that is warm water for sure. Category two at the moment, 100 mile per hour sustained winds, but that will most likely become a category three. And when that happens, it gets designated a major hurricane. So it's going to be our first landfalling hurricane of the season. It'll be in the Pacific on the west coast of Mexico. A little tough to tell you exactly where it's going to make landfall because look at the angle it's coming in and look at the angle of the coast itself. If it dodges in a little quicker, you're going to see it's out to Acapulco. If it stays out there a little bit longer, boom, it's going to be actually hitting that re region. Let's hope not. And you can see the percentages of a hurricane coming within 50 miles of the coastline, and they're up there. You're talking for this season. That is Texas leading the way, Florida as well. Get up to north a bit farther. Those percentages obviously go down. We don't get hit with many hurricanes across the northeast, but you have to have your guard up, no question about it. And you can see all the way through Maine with percentages that are non zero of seeing a hurricane this season pass within 50 miles of your coast. What about strong hurricanes? What about category threes, major hurricanes? Biggest shot of that, unfortunately, if you live around the Gulf Coast, it would be you, Texas, rounding the horn through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida. And then still a chance out there, not as much, but the green shaded areas you can see right there, Miami all the way up the board into Maine, down East Maine, Bar Harbor. So you've got a shot also seeing major hurricane right there also.